Welcome back everyone to another episode of the layout build series. Today we are finalizing the foundation of the newly revised layout and laying some track down. So let's get started. One of the main things I do want to accomplish is getting the old connected to the new. The first thing I did was moving the layout in its final spot. I then moved on to gluing down the foam just so it won't move during all of this. And here I'm just using all my stuff to weigh it down. Now time to get all the brackets installed. First up is a single L bracket and this is just to make sure the leg doesn't move at all. So now we're going to bracket the rest of the layout and we're also going to connect the two sections. After a short while I do have it all put together and both sections are evenly flush. And here's a look at all the brackets underneath. After getting that done, I did decide to clip off this little section of track, so that way we can put a nice new fresh one down. Before we do get into track work, I must get rid of that wood and foam look. Personally, I like everything to match, so I do that with the color black. My favorite thing to use is this chalk paint. I've used this since the beginning and it's worked really well. Take a good look because after it's done, it's going to look completely different. So here it is before and after. Here's before again, and here's after again. I did actually end up running out of paint, so I'll have to go get some more to finish up the rest. I will say for the cost, this is such an easy way to clean up the sides of your layout. This way everything looks a little bit more professional. I will actually have to go back and paint the bottoms, cause like many people out there know, paint and carpet do not mix well together. I'll have to finish up after I go get some more paint. So here we are at the Dollar Tree, obviously to pick up some more chalk paint. And we are in the craft section, which has helped me a lot in the actual hobby. You can see here that they have the pop dot tape that I use to make my roads. But this is actually what I'm going to be looking for. Only $1.25 too. Time to finish all this paint up. So much better than before. Time to get some track laid down. Starting with the removal of the scenery. And the nice thing about removing all this is it could be used later on. So I took out some really old 22 inch radius track. And this is going to be to figure out the minimum turn I need to make to ensure all the locomotives and rolling stock can go over it smoothly. I laid some track already, but first I must glue down some cork roadbed. Before I do glue it down, I make sure that a box car can go over it perfectly. After a while I glued it all down and I put some weights on it to make sure it stays there. Alright, so here's a short mock-up of the plans. This is of course the old section here. And we have the main line that will go up and turn left. Same with the secondary track. We then have a crossover to continue the main line north. And then at some point in the future, I will have the main line go towards me, and this will eventually form a loop here in the middle of the room. 
Then I'll have another crossover here and some kind of industry, maybe that warehouse we had before. I hope this wasn't too confusing. It's the following day and I'm doing some painting outside. Now we have our track ready and we could get started with all this craziness. I start with marking down where I need to cut the track to fit the turnout. The best thing to cut the track is this little guy. The piece always flies off and ends up melting into the foam. I guess it'll be covered up later on. Next up I am laying the rest of the cork I have, but I have to make sure that it's an even distance from the wall, and this will allow for a straight track. And it actually turned out to be one foot exactly. Then it's a matter of filling in all the pieces and gluing it all together. Since I am done for now, I can clean off that paint with a track rubber. So we are coming to the end of the video and we actually have a lot of progress done. This episode was pretty much just the foundation and kind of getting everything set up for the future. And quite honestly, this was going to be the hardest part of the track plans because this had the most turnouts and it was just a matter of getting that curve to be correct because it has to be a minimum of 22 inches. I'm just really glad that we all got that done and we can actually look forward to the future and doing more scenery. All right, so that's gonna be a wrap on episode 22. As usual, if you guys did enjoy, please do leave a like and subscribe if you are not. It does help the channel out quite a bit. So on that note, I will see you guys in next week's episode.